at long last. Actually, it's not even that long. It was this year. Season 1 ended with 20 episodes, and now we are back with Eminence and Peak Season 2. Only 12 episodes, but hey, it's going to be great. Well, let's begin today's reaction. Hmm? <laughs> the season starts out with fucking Delta. Wait, that's Delta, right? Delta's ass, just full bear. <laughs> I want to see some full moons here, too, you know? Butt cheeks. Where's the full moon? It's not showing us. It's covered! Maybe it's because of the red moon, right? Damn, how many followers do we have? Yo, where's 666 at? Agent 666, where are you at? Beto, did she get her hair longer? Maybe? My girl, Epsilon, my favorite Shadow Garden girl right there, Epsilon. That's my girl right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't care if she pads her tits just like Eris in Konosuba. It means nothing to me. It is beta. Her hair is getting longer. <laughs> what are we smelling? Wait. Why, 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 what happened to everybody? They're all getting like goosebumps. What? I smell it. <laughs> There's the moon. The red moon. What does that mean? How does this relate to Clay Claire and the vampires? And the zombies too. Mm -hmm. The legendary red moon. What does it mean, though? Catastrophic damage? Not if we go there and we fucking go I'm Atomic and do the catastrophic damage first. I will go. <laughs> the money. No, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we need the money. You dare object against me? I am the Almighty. <laughs> That's it. Nothing serious about it. Damn, they're all so worried. It's like, oh my god, Jesus! I guess Delta doesn't participate in these, you know, important council meetings. <laughs> Their language, man. It's, it's so... <laughs> they're simping so hard, but it's in like the most like, I don't know, medieval way, their language. <laughs> and there she go with the fan fiction. Mm -hmm. How did it just happen, though? Ad-libbing? Oh, yeah, this is all roleplay, remember? This is all just roleplay, nothing serious. He's completely oblivious to it all. Now, where's Agent 666 at? Oh, shit, I saw this in the PV, dude. The undefeated legend himself. Actually, he was defeated, but still, remember? What is his power level? Oh, shit. Is the legendary hero gonna fight this guy? Blood Queen. Who is the Blood Queen? How does it relate to Claire? Bro, his hair is still sparkling. And I just realized the guy with the eye patch is the guy that we just fucking defeated so easily with Mundane Man, remember? But <laughs> they're friends now? None of them know their place. Just wait for his shadow to show up. Are the chains long enough to reach? What if it like stops? It'd be hilarious. And what? Who? Who? Is, is Goldie fine? That's, that's kind of fucked up. Why does it look like he's getting dragged? But he is getting dragged. Claire. Why is Claire here together? Season one, we had nothing of Claire. Really nothing. So little. Finally, in season two, the trailers, it looks like she has some relations with the, the blood queen and the vampires and somehow with the red moon, right? That is a good way to live, actually. As long as you can do what you want to do, it's, you're fine with doing anything. Life is all about choices and about having to do things that you need to do when in reality, you want to do what you want to do. You know what I mean? Most of us have to do what we need to do, pay the bills. This is not skill, right? I think this is the guy with the power level, right? It's him, right? I can't read that. What does that say? Okay, so it is the bo Okay, they both got fucked up by the white devil and are being auctioned off. Now, Claire, the big sister, Yandere sister, fan service. I think some people do love the obsessive nature of Claire like that, considering Sid a pet. Mm -hmm. If I had a big sister like that, maybe. Oriana, Oriana, six, six, six. 66! Oriana! Oriana! And he's- Okay, I thought he was eating a burger for a second. Remember the burger wrapper? How important that was for Oriana? Pickpocketed. Bro, I think he was in the wanted poster too. That's him right there, isn't it? In the hoodie? I don't know. <laughs> Did we take his wallet plus our mind? <laughs> take it again. <laughs> come on, come on. Another one. 
Four? Five? Six? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was his goal, right? I guess to get the money from the lawless city, you can do whatever you want. So that was his entire plan. He didn't give a shit about the red moon. Ooh, that one's getting fucked up. Your sweet muddy sounds like fucking Black Clover. Wait, his face! A ghoul is a vampire underling. That's what we saw, right? I thought they were like zombies, so they're ghouls. I thought it was like a zombie outbreak. Maybe the red moon converts people into ghouls? Because there's a connection with the red moon and the horde is like ghouls we saw in the trailer, right? Yeah. Fox girl, fox girl, fox girl. Now he's turning into a ghoul too. No, 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 he's just getting back up. The red moon makes him stronger. Now, do they turn into ghouls too if they're big? They do convert. Sid, you gonna do something about this? Yeah, you gotta end it right now. Bro. No, 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 you gotta. <laughs> you, you, you can't just run away now. Red queen? Who is this? Who are you? Maybe he'll start roleplaying as a zombie. Who is she? She was with Claire in the trailer. Mary. Vampire hunter. Well, these are zombies, but... Lady, you got no clue who you're talking to. The frenzy has begun. She's using similar magic? Well, we use slime. It looks like she might be using blood magic. He loves these lines. His chuny instinct is acting up, bro. The frenzy is beginning, my man. Let's go. It's a chuny fantasy. Oh, Claire's mad. Claire's mad. Angry Claire. Oh, what the fuck is going on? <gasps> Casually just killing a ghoul like that. Okay. She's that pissed off. Are you safe though? Are you safe though? <laughs> Look at him hugging to the fucking corpse. He was so scared. He's hugging the fucking body. <laughs> the headless corpse. Ah! Who is causing this red moon? Is it the fox girl or is it the husbando with their long red hair? Skeleton Potato is here! Oh shit, it's been a while. It looks like Skell got a tan because he got sent to the boats because of the debt he accrued, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a red light district. <laughs> our summer is over, but our virginity is <laughs> Nope. Nope. No chance. <laughs> These two idiots are actually so funny. Oh, oh, who is this? Vampire Hunter? No, it's not. Who is this? It's one of the... The escorts. Oh, oh, her body is all fucked up. Rough client, I guess. Who's gonna save her? Maybe she's strong. Maybe she's strong. Sit! Oh, shit. Why, though? Why save her, of all people? So cool. <laughs> He's copying the vampire hunter's lines! <laughs> He's copying her lines! <laughs> line for line! Hmm? I am the shadow that lurks in the... I am the eminence that lurks in the shadow. He's repeating the lines, bro, like a fucking NPC. He's just emoting. I love him. <laughs> He's still saying it! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it shouldn't be that funny. But he was so in awe of all the cool lines that the ancient vampire hunter was saying, so he memorized it. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, that- Oh, my God! That was the fucking Baldi! Why is his ass so cheeked up? Oh, that's what the wanted poster is. Damn, Shadow doesn't really look like a Giga Chat, but he got a big jawline there. Maybe she'll be the next one joining Shadow Garden. Fox Girl again? Did she start this shit? Yukime. The wait, did I just read that right? The vampires let the ghouls arrive. Wait, wait, what? Who's Claire's hurt? Oh no, Sid's just fucking role playing dead right now. Vampire hunter. No, it's, it's, it's probably just like a body double. Are you sure? Are, I, that's not Sid though. Damn. 
<laughs> the eyeballs guy popped up, bro. Claire, come on. That's not... <laughs> this is... Oh, my poor brother! <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Get that out of here. <laughs> bro, come... And that was a decapitated head, too. He smiled because of her cool lines. The frenzy is beginning. The moon is red. Hurry, there's no time. Run if you value your life. Mary. That's really call her Mary every time. All right. We got a cool duo here. All right. We got two girls teaming up. We got the fucking the sisters of the moon and is this Goldie. Oh shit! I just realized Goldie and the Baldy with the eye patch, and then we have Skell and Poe, who's also bald and blonde. I I feel like they should kind of team up. It's like two on two perfect. Who is this? Juggernaut? What? How many new characters? Dude, what the fuck is he wearing? <laughs> it's just covering- It's lingerie, bro! It's just covering the nipples! <laughs> that design crazy. This is the Black Knights, yeah? True. Yeah, fuck this organization. Nah, you're a bootlicker! Sit? Shadow? Watch. Is it? Oh my god, he's gonna say it again. <laughs> the, the, the moon is red. The frenzy has begun. The moon is red, don't answer. <laughs> Just say the moon is red, don't answer them. <laughs> Only NPC lines. This dude is not having a conversation. He's just fucking going through all his NPC dialogue tree. Oh, what the fuck? This is the guy that maybe started the moon? Look at these colors. Vampires for sure. Kind of reminds me of Surzex from High School DxD. Wait, this is Kiriharu's voice from Mahoka right now. Okay, Yukime White Tower, Juggernaut Black Tower, and then the Blood Queen, and then there's this dude, Vampire, or someone. There's so there's like three different factions like fighting each other, and there's the ghouls. Okay, Mr. Juggernaut looks pretty strong, but you know these characters at the end of the day they just end up being jobbers. She fox? That's a new one. White tower, black tower, vampire's probably red tower. No, that's the vampire queen, I forget. Oh, box queen likes non-pushy men? Maybe she wants to dominate. But there's our man right there. Run if you value your lives. The moon is red. The frenzy has begun. Oriana! 666! The crowbar is out! It kind of changed. <laughs> I am the eminence in shadow. Say it. Actually, no. Say the, the moon is red. Here it is. Oh. Title drop. Dude, it's so good every time he says that shit. It's the same as like Luffy saying, I'm going to be Pirate King. The Eminence and Peak never, never fails to deliver, bro. Oh my god, this first episode, so many different things going on. So the ghouls, the zombies, controlled by the Red Moon. I'm not sure who exactly triggered the Red Moon. The Red Moon is important for somehow the Blood Queen needs the young boy's blood. There's the White Tower with the Kitsune. There's the Black Tower with the fucking Bardi with the lingerie. And then there's Serzex, the fucking the vampire with the pop collar. And then there's the fucking vampire hunter with Claire. And then there's Shadow Garden with Sid. And then there's Skell and Poe. So many different players involved. But at the end of the day, none of that matters. You know why? Because the mood is red. <laughs> The frenzy has begun. Hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists in this, uh, for even more content. And until next time, take care.